Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. And today we are back at it again with a revenants guide. Revenants are one of my favorite money making methods in old school RuneScape, both for my main account for alts. They're one of the more entertaining ways to go about making money because you have the PKing factor. It's absolutely just insane and I love it. So what are Revenants? If you are not aware, Revenants are a newish NPC that has been introduced into old school RuneScape and their drop tables have been reworked all the time. I personally can make upwards of 4 mil an hour here and it is one of the best money making methods both for main accounts and lower levels. In this video, I'll more so be focusing on main accounts with like 75, 80 plus range, you know. That's one thing with Revenants is there's oftentimes a ton of people here, so you're competing for kills very heavily. Even with some of the lower level ones like imps and stuff, you'll still see like level 60s camping that spot. So while I do love the money making method, there are some base requirements and base gear needed. So we're going to go ahead and get right into that now. So we'll start by going over some gear setups for Revenants. The first one being what I think is the most common setup, and that is your blowpipe ranging setup. Going through the gear, you can see Kirill's Coif, Black Dehyde, Snakeskin Boots. It's basically your best DPS you're going to get for cheap range gear that you don't mind losing upon death. In addition to that, I have a bracelet of Ethereum, which upon being charged with Revenant Ether will make you immune to Revenant. So I'd recommend throwing like 50 charges in before you go on a trip. And then make sure to toggle absorption so it is on and you absorb the rev ether upon revs dying. In addition to that, the salve EI is very, very highly recommended, as I said earlier. And I'm also running with an Avis assembler. Now, you can upgrade this by using the crossbow, which is personally what I use when I am there. This honestly just increases the amount of kills per hour by an absolute ton. And it's so easy to use. I really do enjoy it out here. And I think it makes it very easy to camp revenants. So, big fan of that. And then, I mean, really. I'd say you should probably range but if you want to mix it up and throw in a melee gear setup this is about what I run with um, you can do a whip if you want to I, I wouldn't really recommend the whip um, the Vigorous Chain Mace however is one that is very comparable to the crossbow but I find it a little bit more tedious to use in the sense that you have to run around a lot more and the Chain Mace is better for worlds that have a lot of people in it um, I've done a video comparing the Chain Mace and the crossbow and I found that they're pretty even but the chain mace, you just have to compete for kills a lot more rather than just killing one on your own. And in addition to that, the crossbow is just a lot more chill to use in general as far as gameplay is concerned. So if you have the money for a crossbow, I'd use that. Second best option, chain mace. And then third best option, which most people are probably going to use, is the blowpipe setup. So now that we know that, I'll take a look at the inventory. So for the inventory setup, I bring five Ceridomen Brews and five Super Restores. Uh, the Super Restores are because I'll be using Rigor the entire time. And the Cerid Brews are obviously for PKers. From there, I bring two Ranging Potions as well, along with a Stamina, just to be able to run around a bit easier. I also bring a Teleport Out, which for me is a Royal Seed Pod. However, if you haven't done Monkey Madness 2, that will be a Glory. A looting bag for loot, obviously. A Din's Bulwark to help me get away from PKers. Make sure that whenever you use the Din's Bulwark, you put it on block, though, so then you get an added bonus of defense. And then finally, a teleport out there. Personally, I use Rev Cave teleports because I kill these relatively efficiently. If you're lower level, I'd recommend using the Burning Amulet teleport, which will take you right here. And then from there, you run to the east, buy some dragons, and you'll find yourself at the Rev Cave. So... That is it. So let's head on out there and I'll talk a little bit more about the revs. So upon coming on out here, you'll see a cave and you'll want to enter that. From there, you'll be in, a, in what is a pretty decent dungeon. The only part of note here is going to be this area where the revenants are at. And you'll also want to take note that there are two agility obstacles throughout the cave, one to the south and one to the northwest. If you don't have the levels for these, do not worry about that. However, remember you can use a summer pie to boost five agility levels. So maybe you can take these at lower level. So I'm heading south and now, and obviously you're always going to want to keep an eye out for PKers. But as you can see, it's a pretty packed area you do have a lot of people here and that's why I recommend having decent levels because it's just hard to get kills sometimes if you're low level. Now I usually hop around worlds a little bit until I find a world that just doesn't have a ton of people you know maybe four or five walking around but nothing too much. So this looks like a good world. Now what I recommend is you can go about this two different ways. Oh hello. Basically right here is the cutoff line between level 30 as you can see and level 31 wilderness. So anything north of this you can't instantly teleport out. Anything to the south you can. So if you're someone that likes to be a little bit more safe maybe you'll want to come down here and kill these three. However, typically they have a lot more people down here because of that fact that you can teleport out instantly. 
So really, I just recommend finding your own kind of niche here as far as a cycle of monsters you like to kill. Personally, I usually go with the dragon, the rev knight, the greater demon, and this orc, and just kind of bounce between whatever's really open at the time. I don't mind standing up here a little bit higher in the wildy because I think that there's a lot less people up here, and thus it's really worth it for me to get more kills an hour rather than to be a little bit more safe while I'm here. Obviously, you're going to want to keep your eyes peeled for PKers. Typically, you'll have people logging in either over here, coming from the south, or over here behind this little corner. Uh, typically, I'd say that for the most part is probably where 75 to 80 percent of the PKers reside. So, just kind of keep your screen looking over that way. Don't focus too much on it, but if you see any activity, be weary. So, along the lines of knowing where the PKers log in at, you're going to also want to know your escape routes. Looking at the map earlier, as we can see down here, where it is level 30 and below, you're going to want to teleport out. However, if you get TB'd before you teleport, it, it's a very hard, it's a very long run all the way up here. This, the cave entrance is very important because the cave entrance is single way combat. So clans will typically hop off of you if you make it up there. So if you're down here, you're probably just going to want to hope that you can tank it on your long run all the way up here. If you're on the right side of the room from this arrow over, I'd say probably great for you to run up to the top of the cave as well. And typically what I do over here, because I think less people expect it, and because PKers are coming from this way typically, I like to run all the way over here because there's a chance that they can get caught on this wall, this wall, or even some of the little corners over here. You can also jump this pillar again if you are able to boost to 75 agility. However, I would still say a decent amount of clans have 75 agility, so you're not necessarily guaranteed an escape. So then finally, the last little tip that I have to get away from PKers is if you 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 find yourself caught in this little corner right here, and there's PKers from the north of you trying to barrage you to keep you from going all the way out, start running south again, and they'll be they'll obviously be drawn into you, and then run around this, and sometimes you'll get gas right here and then you'll just be able to kind of do a little loop around them and I've done that a few times and it's honestly some of the funniest things I've ever seen so yeah it's as simple as that you just show up you kill some revs and you keep an eye out for PKers it's a pretty easy task overall I'd say and in regards to PKers I'd say I typically bank between 700 uh, around 700k in my looting bag somewhere between 500k and a mil depending on how I'm feeling at the time if there's a lot of PKers out or not it's just kind of a situational thing really and you may say well that's a lot of risk yeah but there's no point in coming out here spending 30k on a rev telly than getting 300k loot and running back personally i just don't think it's worth your time if you're doing that maybe if you're a lower level where 300k means much more to you i could see that but for someone like me i, I just like to get as many kills out here as i can and then head on back Ooh. <laughs> So now that you know everything about how to kill revs, what can you expect from them? Now I've been running this account as a rev alt for a little bit lately, and I've gotten up to 2.6 thousand kills. I actually started at 700, so this loot tab is from 1900 rev kills, and it's a pretty decent one at that. So as we can see here, 37 mil is my loot in 1900 rev kills, and I've gotten a couple, uh, really only one big ticket one, which was an 8 mil effigy. I've also seen a couple of the smaller ones along with a magic seed drop. The tab overall I think looks really really good and I'm pretty impressed with the loot in general. Now as far as the average kill loot that you can expect from this tab, it's about 20k which isn't bad at all considering how fast you kill some of these revs. So, And keep in mind this also doesn't account for all of the loot that I have died with which is probably close to like 10 mil plus I would say. So. <laughs> It just happens sometimes you get caught off by PKers when you have a little loot on you. There's nothing really too much to worry about and I'd say don't get too discouraged if PKers start to kind of get on you. If you get killed a couple times maybe just take a break for a little bit and try to come back at a time where maybe it's less populated and hope for the best. Now with that said, that is going to be it for me today. I wish you guys the best of luck out there at Revs and hopefully you don't die too much. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like. If there's any guides or anything you want to see from me in the future, let me know in a comment down below. And finally, if you enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. But with that said, hopefully you guys have a wonderful day. And bye-bye uh, now.